You go. On my list. All right. Number All five. This is the one she hates the most, by the way, because, because she I don't like any scary movies. Right. I love scary movies. My number five. Y'all ready? This is the movie's scariest movies I hate. Number okay. five. Let's talk Nightmare about on Elm Street. Listen. Is that on your list? Y listen. <laughs> it's not it was number it would have been number six, so it got cut off. But so I guess it's an honorable mention. But let me tell you about this. Okay. I first watched this. This is my story for this. Mm -hmm. I was like nine, which is way too young, first of all. And then a member of my family, who I've sworn to never name, thought it would be okay. funny while I was sleeping to go outside and take a rake and scratch it down the window. <laughs> and I was this close to peeing in my bed. I ran out of the room. I went into the bathroom and I cried for a solid hour. I thought for sure, because also I was asleep. And then you hear the scratching, like, from the window. That's when it comes to you. Yeah. I Listen, yeah, Ronnie's with us. I. That's why, like, this is what has made my list. Because this is ones that come. You can't. It's not like I've thought about maybe Jason or Halloween or one of those. But I was like, you can get away from those people, right? Like, I. You you can't tell me the people that died on those movies deserve to die because they should have ran a long time ago. But <laughs> but you can't get away Ray, you can't get away from no Freddy Krueger. He's coming in your dreams. He if he wants you, he's coming for you. You can't you gotta sleep. I know. So that's one I made my list because I was like, you can't get away. From you can't. Yeah, it's exactly it. It's you go to sleep. What are you gonna do? Stay awake for the rest of your life? Like I love coffee, but it's not gonna keep me up past twenty four hours. Look, yeah. Andrew hates that noise too. I. Like this, the rake? The, the, I don't know. <laughs> We're going to say Freddy Krueger is awesome. He's so cool he makes jokes before he kills someone. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> He's still awful. I think that's what my list was a lot of stuff. Like the scary stuff to me is something that you can't get away from or, or like things that mm -hmm. would spirits and could happen in real life. Those are the ones that make my list. This, and those are the scariest for me. So. Yeah, Nightmare yeah. on Elm Street. Number four, y'all mentioned the dolls. Yeah. That Annabelle, those Annabelle movies. I have, so I haven't seen them because I, I no, because I feel like I'm gonna not like it. Dolls are my like, I love to be scared, but dolls, mm -mm. you know how many dolls my kids are those, away? They say that's based off of a true story. They say they really got the possessed doll. What? Right? Yes, that's why it scares me. Because when I saw it, I didn't know it was just like based off like well, the no, I'm never based off it. like true right things mm -hmm. like it really happened. The, the the priests like did exorcisms on like the antidote bells. All they said is real is based off the truth. Mm -mm. <laughs> no, now I'm never gonna watch it. What? What? He says he. Hey? Jake, yeah. And that's why I was like, oh no, I can't do this one. So see. But not the true looking doll. So the doll looks different. But it's based off of like a raggedy Ann looking doll. I looked this up. Ain't it? Yeah. It looks like a raggedy Ann. She's in a museum. <laughs> it's a sign, don't <laughs> touch it. Yeah. And let me tell you, I was so I watched, so I didn't watch the first Annabelle movie because I don't like scary movies, but I had yeah. a screener. I had to go watch the one of the yeah. newest ones. I remember when it came out. Yeah. And they still make me because they put this doll in this little glass thing. And they and they put a little tiny little not even a lock that they just get a little shake and it can open and the, and the thing could be re the, the possessions mm -hmm. released. <laughs> it may be mad in nope, movies. it's not gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> no, nope, that's all I'm thinking the whole time you're saying that is. <laughs> no, I'm good. <laughs> all right, let's go to my three. Uh, oh, not... oh, wait, real quick, Ronnie, why you do us that way? That's true. I got dolls That's behind true. me over there. They they follow you with their eyes. They do. It's mm -mm. maybe all dolls that like have some kind of little possession in them. Oh my god! Don't say that. <laughs> What's that behind you, Tessa? Oh <laughs> <my God. laughs> I don't like you. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Terrence don't think nothing scary. I know. Terrence, the first film, okay. Second film, third one. Well, that's the only one I watched was the third. I don't know about the other ones. I don't know. Mm -mm. All right, y'all want to do my number three? Yeah, let's go for it. I don't know. This ain't a real famous one people have seen, and they had a remake. 
but the mm -hmm. remake's not as good as the original. And it's an old one. When a stranger calls. I haven't seen that one. You never seen that? No. You think I would like it? No. <laughs> I'm not, <laughs> not going to say any movies that you got. But it's about. <gasps> I like. I, I first like watched it. this as a little kid. And then like. So it's about this babysitter. Mm. And she goes. She goes to watch the kids. And the, the parents go out. But then she starts getting calls. That I was, I'm watching you. Or have you checked the children yet? And all these weird calls on there. And then she calls the police and all this stuff. And late, well, I don't want to get, well, anyway, it finds out the police call back and they trace the call and the guy's in the house. And he's, he's like, get out the house. He's in there. Done kill the kids upstairs. She has escaped. Oh yeah. Then she goes out the house. And then what happened is like, this happened when she was a teenager and then they bring it to real life and she never will like leave kids yeah but then he escapes from like the prison oh yeah oh no because it could really happen that's the stuff i hate the most like the scariest the stuff that really can happen yeah right look winter night agrees with you says it's good and creepy oh ronnie never seen it Ronnie never seen it and andrew says he hears it's not the greatest so uh oh geez terrence <laughs> i terrence call <laughs> I think this made my list though because I first saw it like as a little kid and then I was terrified, especially if my parents was like, Oh, we got a babysitter. And then yeah, I'd be like, mm -mm. <laughs> So that's my number three. Babysitter. <laughs> my number two is a weird one because I don't know if it's considered horror. The silence well, of the lambs. That's considered horror for sure. You don't like that one? You like it's I love that movie. That's a good movie. I it's mean, not on my list. It should have like been on once, I forgot about it. I hated it. Like because serial killers are really but I can't be watching this they and then eat people. I don't even want to talk about it. That's one that I, I don't like even if it comes across the screen He's on like, the TV, I hurry and change. Mm -mm. Isn't that how he says it? I can't ever sound like people. Wait, Listen. what did you say? Oh, wait, Farber. Say that. Yeah, he's, he's like some fava beans and a nice. I love it because it's creepy. See, but it's not really horror scary. I wasn't yeah, sure. Thriller. But that's where some of mine are too, because it's hard because I think about stuff that just because it scares me or creeps me out, I consider it. It's a weird, It's I feel like it's a wide genre with like a little. I wasn't sure if that would be considered, but I I hate it because like the uh, mm, and he eats them, and then I watched the Hannibal and it was even worse. Oh no, it's good. I like Hannibal a lot. It puts the like lotion Hannibal. on its skin. <laughs> That's what creeped me out. It was the the Buffalo guy who like made yeah. the suit that creeped me out more than even the the one eating the people. <laughs> he was creepy. Look, Rodney says he hid behind his cushion watching that movie. Listen. Really? <laughs> See? I don't believe you. It's, it's creepy. Be a horror. Well, I I consider it. All right, and then what? You got one more? Mm -hmm. My number one. All right, what is it? The Saw movies. I hate I them all. I should have known. Say that. I should have known. Why'd you know that? <laughs> I just because it's gory, and I think that's what. Oh, I hate everyone. Oh, and. <laughs> It's because of the, the it's gory so with, too. with like the psychological, like I That's remember really the first one, really like they were like, what's this about? And the person wakes up and they're in the room and they got to like saw off their own hand to like escape. And then the one that hit, like, I can't ever get this visual out my head again. <laughs> I can't ever. It was one of the, I don't even remember which one it was, but the girl was fell into a vat of needles. Yes. I know what you're talking about. Oh, I can't get the oh that it's the worst horror movie ever. Ever. I like it. Look, Doughboy says that he could escape because he's smart. But they make you do they may I cut, cut, off off your, cut off your leg or I'm not looking forward to the new one, Spiral. And I'm really bummed out that it's gonna be a while. I actually, you know, when I did the reaction of the trailer, I didn't know that's what it was. 
So a lot of people were making fun of me in my reaction because it took a while. And then all of a sudden I was like, is this Saw? Like, I didn't even know. It, that one's another one that's pushed. And they're probably going to get pushed still. So I would Spiral imagine. is another Saw? Yeah, yeah. It's like, it's. I think, I want to say it's Chris Rock is doing it. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm not kidding. I think so. Someone tell me. I it's. I think so. I got to remember. A while ago, the trailer came out. And I feel like it's going to be pushed till next Halloween season, well, you know, is, you gotta, yeah. but I mean, you got to put it out around the Halloween. Yeah. I would, so it's going to be pushed a while, unfortunately. Well, I'm glad I know that's like that. I won't watch them. Yeah. Look, Ronnie agrees with I you. Can't watch. They're, because they're not just scary and psychological, like putting and do these things. It's also like that. If you would say the most grossest out I've ever been watching a scene is that one she fell in needles. <laughs> like hypodermic needles and a vat of them, and she fell in it. I'll stick it. Oh, mm, that's even worse than that thing on Brightburn with the jaw. Uh, that was <laughs> awesome. Brightburn's on my list, so we'll talk about it in a little bit. I, Dan uh, finds musical scary. So there's something more terrifying than spontane people spontaneously breaking out into song. <laughs> put my hand over my eyes. <laughs> 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 oh, I have oh, not what? seen Baba Duke. By the way, I had that. Oh, uh, that was, I was going to add that on the list of what people vote on for me to watch tomorrow, but then I changed so, it. This comment, the movie and makeup moment, that hostel is on my nominated list because that's is another it? one. Like they tortured the people. Mm -hmm. That's one that was on my I, my honorable mention list. I'll name it Hostel. Didn't I say Chucky? See, I knew it. I told you. So it's Chris Rock and Samuel L. Jackson. Oh, so. he's got, he's like, get that. <laughs> my play. Get that spiral. This Samuel L. L. Jackson. And we both had an encounter with him. He asked me where uh, Nick Fury is on my tattoo. And I had to be like, uh, he's not part of the Guardians of the Galaxy, Samuel. <laughs> and then Amanda, what did you say to him? Oh. He had a pet. And then you go, not even oh, a yeah, snake. He said he he said he don't have pets, and I was like, not even a snake. <laughs> and then he wouldn't answer me, so I said it like two more times. <laughs> I know she's like, hello. He was probably like, all right, this crazy lady. Uh, well, now I want to. Well, let me do my honorable mentions quick. Okay, Chucky. Yeah. Hostel. Okay. It. Exorcist. <sighs> Pet Cemetery. And Candyman. Those were all my honorable mentions. They are all, it seems like it, you've got a, like, you've got a genre. You've got a, it's the stuff that's, like, could be, like yeah. you said, it could really happen. And it, that's what scares me the most. And I hate the most. Really and then the gory. And then, like, the gory. And, yeah. I can't wait to hear you. Let's get to yours. You, you're you going to have some that I never heard about, ain't you? Probably. <laughs> I, so I went with the, like, these are ones that it's hard for me to say, like, that scare me because, like, I do get scared, but I, I, I'm into the, like, gore and I know it's a problem, but I'm well aware that I'm into it. So for me, the first one, number five would be Brightburn, which I loved Brightburn. The, like, we've talked about the jaw was crazy. The oh. eye the like glass in the eye. And first of all, I love everything James Gunn touches. It was just, let's be honest here. Um, but I love Brightburn. And actually, yes, I want to talk to Andrew about this because I've been telling him to watch Brightburn and he finally rented it this weekend and he messaged me and told me that he watched it and he really enjoyed it. And then the best part, now you watched Brightburn, right, Amanda? Yeah. So at the end, you got to the end, right? Do you remember mm -hmm. you do you remember oh, that they, they teased like that this could be a whole universe, right? There's someone that's like, oh yeah. Like, and it's actually Michael Rooker is doing like a conspiracy show. Mm -hmm. um, and so I'm like, I could totally go for like a full universe of this. And that's yes. Call it evil Superman. So mm -hmm. that's what I love about it because Superman for me has always been like, man, he's such a, Bo for me he's a boring superhero like he's can be almost anybody unless he has kryptonite and he's such too much of a goody two shoes and i don't like it i like the villains so that's why uh i think i really like this because i really enjoy that it's like the evil side and like and not even like an evil older superman right it's like a kid and this kid is just pure evil right from the beginning this kid is awful he's like 
just cares to murder everybody and he is fun doing it. Uh, and it's pretty but awesome. I, don't know if it, I wasn't too scared from it. I, that's what I'm saying. I, it was I, mostly gory from like, that's why I didn't like it. I was like, oh, it's too like the jaw thing. Remember that I, that can't get over. But to me, it felt like more of a, just a villain movie, right? Yeah, yeah, right. So this is where Dan is saying, is it considered a scary movie? Yeah. I, I think it is though. I think it I is think on like- it's considered yeah. a scary movie. Um, to an extent anyway, right? And that's why I said, like, my list, like, well, I have, really don't like bright burn. <laughs> a lot of her comments with that word, if she doesn't like something. So, Carolyn, not like that bright burn. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I liked the story of it too. And like I said, I would, I would love a full universe of it. I just like that. Finally, Superman is kind of interesting. <laughs> oh, oh but listen, look at this. See, there's a version of Superman for everyone. And mine is Brightburn. Uh, Andrew says, yeah, it's more of a horror thriller, um, which I consider horror thrillers scary movies. I mean, yeah, I guess it, that's why I was saying like mine with the silence of the lambs. I'm like, is it really? I know. Really? But if it's our list, if we're scared by it, were you scared by Brightburn? I was creeped out. Like, so... It's hard, I guess, I don't know. It's hard for me to say, like, scared mm -hmm. a little bit. The part when the mom is, like, hiding and he's out there, like, and she's hiding from him. You know what part I'm talking about? You don't probably know. don't. Well, oh, wait. she was out in the garage. She's, like, in, she's, like, under the counter in the kitchen, kind of. Oh, I don't remember. And the cop shows up, and then the cop just gets, like, whooshed away. Like, he just takes the cop and, like, kills him. She, she got on my nerves in that. I was like, she should have killed him. <laughs> like, she could have killed him when she had the chance. She could have killed him. She could have killed him. Right, when well, they knew. That dad knew. I know. Well, then he killed, the, didn't he? He was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I have not seen Monster Squad. Have you seen Monster no. Squad? No. Nope. But Quiet Place. Quiet I like place. The Quiet Place and The Quiet Place yeah. too. But that one really didn't that scare one, me either. No, and I loved it, but it's not on my... I think it's a really good movie. All right. Um, what's your number four? What's your okay. number four? In number four is the 1990 The Witches. Because that terrified me as a kid. And I, I know. I know, it's Amanda. I know. List. <laughs> well, this is my favorite. So, I'm not even scared by these movies. Go ahead. Keep it didn't scare you as a kid? Well, okay. I was six. I don't even remember watching it, really. So I was six, and I had nightmares. Was like, that Angelica Houston in it? Yeah, and when she took her face off, and she had a big nose, and she turned kids into, into mice. And you talk about things that could be real. The point was these witches just hid as normal people. I was six, and it's, like, still ingrained in my head. I was terrified because I was like, this creepy lady could be a witch. And then they talk about, they give you candy. So like, I don't want trick or treat on Halloween. So it's like, this witch is going to give me candy. That's going to turn me into a mouse. And that's something that stuck with me forever. And don't laugh at me. What? It's, it was very <laughs> as a six year old. Wait, now the number three for Tess is going to be Wizard of Oz. <laughs> what is this? Because <laughs> the witch scared her. <laughs> I did. I think it's I have to be honest, though. I don't think I've seen, I've seen like parts of the witches when it came on TV, but I've never seen like the whole thing through. Imagine watching as a six-year-old that they tell you these, these <laughs> witches can be hiding in plain sight. They could be your neighbor. And she's and like, like, and you said, out. You said, and you talked about how it could really happen. And you really <laughs> thought somebody's got, when you were six, you thought you could be turned into a mouse. <laughs> I did. I literally thought that. I was scared. I was like, they're going to turn me into a mouse and then they're going to step on me because that's, or put me in a painting. Oh my God. There's a scene in the, in the original where they put, they lock a kid in a painting and the kid like stuck. <laughs> like Harry <laughs> Potter. <laughs> but they're stuck in it. Do you want to be stuck in a painting? Leave me alone. You're so mean to me, man. <laughs> well, I don't even want to tell I you. I would like next... scary movies too with, uh, with this list. <laughs> All right, number three. Okay, this gun get me right here. This gun get it's me. It's The Shining. Yeah. Did, that, well, that, I thought about that one too. Yeah, that scared the bejesus out of me. Mm -hmm. So much of it. Like the twins. I mean, oh, the, oh, the yeah. whole entire thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. That oh. was, I thought about that one too when I was made. I was like, oh, they have The Shining. Yeah. The Shining? scary and like uh what's his name jack 
Nicholson. Oh, yeah. Nicholson. Nich oh yeah. my God, he's terrifying, right? And like, and now they have the new, it's a sequel, I think, Dr. Sleep, which I haven't watched yet. Um, well, I got Brett, I got him the book for Christmas and he hasn't mm -hmm. read it yet. And it's almost Christmas again. And he doesn't want to watch it till he reads it. Yeah, look, mm -mm. see, that is scary. Like that was terrifying to me. I was probably 15 I when I saw the I get, The part now, it always freaks me out because the Tower of Terror. And oh. they have that part with like, you see the kids like down, that always reminds me of it. And every time I'm out do that ride, uh, I think of that and then I'm freaked out even more. It's, it's, it's a good sequel, says Terrence. I like Dr. Uh, what, did you what watch Dr. Sleep? Yeah. You did? You? Oh yeah, you saw it in the theater. I was just, working at the theater and it was playing right. when I was working. And so I, I watched it. I liked it. I thought mm -hmm. The Shining was much better, but. Listen, listen, stop. Stop, oh, no, stop it. <laughs> you want to know something really cool? Speaking of Red Rum, I I don't know if you noticed this. So you watched The Haunting of Bly Manor. Mm -hmm. And um, I saw in, towards, towards the end, I think it's like the second to last episode, but towards the end there, or the third, anyway, they're in the classroom, you know, the little like classroom in the house. Yeah. And the, it's a flashback to when Je they were, Jessica was their yeah, yeah. teacher or whatever. There was Scrabble letters that spelled out red rum on her, on her uh, desk. Easter egg. I know. Easter egg. I saw it and that I was, was like, probably oh. the scariest part of that Bly house. <laughs> that Bly it wasn't, I don't think it was supposed to be scary. Yeah, it wasn't real scary. Um, I liked it. No, I liked it. It was, I think it was more of a, uh, what did I call it? A gothic romance, right? Um, alien, you guys, I, you would consider Alien a scary movie? Yeah, you don't think so? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, Although I guess they're not like, I wouldn't say like, well, Alien more so, but like movies like Jaws, they consider scary. Yeah. But then I was like, oh, that's not really like a Halloween movie, but yeah. I would think it's like on the same level, like Alien, Jaws, you know? Yeah. I think I just have a weird, um, like, thought of what horror Alien is. came out the, the box. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's true. I haven't seen Alien in a long time. The I've like, I like uh, Prometheus is good. The That whole, like, franchise is good. Anyways, uh, next, I don't even know what number am I on. Two? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, I forget where I even am. Jeepers Creepers. Have you ever seen Jeepers Creepers? No. Oh, my gosh. I no, I kind of don't want to say anything and I want to make you watch it. I don't want you always want to make me watch the yeah, scary listen. stuff. I don't want to. I want to see what the description and the synopsis is because I bet I you it describes think, it perfectly. Do they have like weird looking people in that? Mm -hmm. Like weird looking monsters? Mm -hmm. Are they like real skinny so, and yeah. tall? I kind of I've never seen it, but I'm like, I think I've seen maybe a trailer or this is the synopsis for it. The synopsis okay. are so good on horror movies. So it says, after making a horrific discovery in the basement of an old abandoned church, Trish and her brother, Derry, watch their routine road trip home from college turn into a heart-stopping race for their lives. They find themselves the chosen prey of an indestructible force that relentlessly pursues them and gives a new and chilling meaning to the old song, Jeepers they, Creepers. They follow them? Yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, I ain't watching that. Look, I and oh, then I Ronnie's never the second one, but I never saw it. Oh, I listen, me and Ronnie's right here. I ain't watching that. <laughs> a third what one, so there must be a second one. She, Winter Night says there's a third one, so I said there must even be a second one. Oh, a third, G listen, a third, G dance G yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You ain't scared of no witches. Don't be saying you're scared of the witches, Dan. <laughs> Listen, maybe he's scared that my that I'm scared. Um, <laughs> oh, Derek reviewed the film, The Jeepers Creepers. Yeah, but listen, I, I don't want to say anything because I really want you to watch it. No, I ain't gonna watch it. <laughs> I want you to watch it. So they're so creepy. Those things are the creepiest things. I've ever, look, I gotta see. I now that I know, I can put up pictures on here. I'm gonna find one. You can. You. I know you can give me bad dreams. Listen, I don't know. Let me see. This is this is. I feel like I gotta find. This, a, can you hear my dogs peepers? barking outside? They're driving. Where me you off. get those peepers? Was that in there? Yeah, it's that saying in there. Mm -hmm. What is a peeper? Eyeballs. Oh. <gasps> 
They do something to eyeballs. Listen, I'm gonna <laughs> blow this picture. Hold on. I'm so excited for you to see this. No, I don't want to see it. <laughs> so Stop! It. Oh my God, that's what they look like. <laughs> they got the. They got like real eyes. Stop! <laughs> it's so good. Listen, Terrence is too scary. Wait, he says he's not scary. Yeah, Ronnie's <laughs> looking away. <laughs> I'm never going to watch that. Look, See? Why you do this to us? You know me and me and Andrew's over here scared and Ronnie. <laughs> Look what Dan said about Dr. Sleep. <laughs> is there more than one of the Jeep? Because this is Jeepers Creepers. Listen, like there's more than one of those There's going to be a third one, someone said. No, so but I don't I'm know. saying when the spirit comes after you, is it just that one guy or is there more? I think there's one, but then I don't know about the second. I don't know about the spirit. You can't like kill it. It's indestructible. I don't want to give anything away. You got to watch it. There's three movies. Terrence says there is three already. See, I didn't even know there was a second one until just now. So, oh, it's so crazy. Ever seen? Oh, I've seen The Craft. That's not really scary. Yeah, though. The Craft isn't really scary. The, I love it. I love The Craft movie. The new one is out now. I haven't seen uh, it. Did I've, you like the I new one as new much one. as the first? I am going to be watching it tomorrow. For oh, you, have, you haven't watched it. I haven't watched it yet. No, oh, okay. they're going to give me the co the download code tomorrow. They said so. Jeepers Creepers one and two had cinema. Oh, direct to video. So it's probably not very good. Oh, I've seen Scream. Yeah, I've seen Scream too. I wouldn't. Well, I guess that's a scary movie. It it is, but it reminds me more like those ones. What what was that? Um, with the baby, with the ba you know the they had the baby face. Happy Death Day, the Death Day. I haven't seen that. Okay, but that's, that's what they kind of remind me of those, tomorrow. like when they have a killer, but it's more of like a teen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like, I love the first one because all, all I ever think about is, um, what's his name, Matthew Lillard, when he's like, my dad or mom or one of them is going to be so mad at me. And he's like crying. And you know what I'm talking about? He's all bloody. Um, and what? then when he gets revealed that he's one of the killers. Oh, the yeah. Demon, he's like, my mom's going to be so mad at me. And I'm like... That's like, makes you think like, I don't know. I Did liked that. say one. that Scream's coming back with one of, was it Drew Barrymore? A lot of the original cast and F. Campbell too. Right? Yeah. I'm cautiously optimistic about that because sometimes it just feels so mm -hmm. cheesy. You know what I mean? Like, and that's when I'll be interested in what you see about the craft movie. Cause like no, there's some that you just can't, the craft. you can't, just, it's hard to remake that magic. Yeah. And I don't really understand what, like the point, it, I don't know. It's hard to tell because the trailer, they were like, first they're saying it's a total remake. Mm -hmm. And they even have lines from the original movie, like we're the weirdos, which was like one of my favorite lines from yeah. the original movie. But then like they have a picture of the girl, Nancy, in it. So it's like, obviously those people existed. So it's confusing. And I don't really know what they're trying to do with it. But I guess I'll find out when I watch it tomorrow. Why are they going to be mad at you, Andrew? He's talking about what he said in... In Scream at the end. Oh, I don't. Oh, the guy. Yeah. <laughs> also, is Scream 5, is it going to have um, Monica? What's her name? Courtney Cox? I don't know. And and then well, David Arquette, is it going to have them? I think David Arquette is signed on for sure. I don't know if she is. Courtney Cox is. I she don't even look know. like a different face. Doesn't she have like a. <laughs> I, was like, I don't know if that's Courtney Cox or not. Her face looks different. <laughs> oh my god! Right, what's your number one? Where? All right, I want to hear your number one most scariest. Listen, uh -oh. no. Oh, she's already given excuses. What? Thirteen ghosts. Have you seen it? I haven't seen it. Okay. Is it new? No. It's no. 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 One? Yeah, I got to find out what what year it is. Look, I love that I can just search on here. This is so great. So it is from two thousand one. Okay. Okay. So a state of the art remake of the classic. So apparently I didn't watch the classic. This was the remake. <laughs> it says, uh, it's the a family that inherits a spectacular old house from an eccentric, eccentric uncle. 
there's just one problem. The house seems to have a dangerous agenda all of its own. Trapped in their new home by strangely shifting walls, the family encounters powerful and vengeful entities that threaten to annihilate anyone in their path. And let me tell they you- won't, They won't let them out the house? So, they're trapped? They're they're like trapped in like the like basement. I think it's the basement. And listen, I'm going to show you what I had nightmares. I made my sister. I was, 2001, I was, I don't know, I was born in 84. Do the math. I and I made Seven. my sister come into the bathroom with me because I was terrified to go like pee. Look. <gasps> mm -hmm. Is that like the main ghost? That's one of the ghosts. That's like the 13th ghost, right? So she's in the basement. That was the creepiest one, or he, I don't even, the head. Mm -mm. But there's so many others. There's like, I'm trying to don't see. Show but, more. Don't show. Why do you keep doing this to me? They're gross. They were all like tortured. Like there's ones that are all like slit up. I'm oh. trying to find the girl. There's one girl that's got like cuts all over. Why did this, why did this make, make your number one? It scared you the most? It, it scared me to the, look, I'm going to close that. This even one. scared you more than the witches? <laughs> well, I was younger. I was 17, I think, for how, for this one. So nobody, it terrified me to the point of like, like I said, I made my sister, my sister, I was like, come into the bathroom with me. I have to pee. And like my sister and I watched it alone. So I was what, 17? Is that what we figured out? Yeah. And so she's like a year and a half younger than me. And I remember we were home alone and we watched it. And then we watched it twice. And it just terrified me. I think the fact that they're stuck in this house that they can't get out of. And there's all these ghosts trapped in the house because they were trying, the uncle was basically like trying to open a portal to like. And so there's 13 of them. So he's trapped them all and so there's all these other ones and there was like i feel like there was like a gluttony one and like there was a lot of it's i don't know that it was exactly the seven deadly i remember a really fat one that scared me i don't know what seven was that? Oh, one. that's another one i should have made the list yeah What's that was one? i we're thinking of the same one i think with the seven with the seven cents yeah and brad pitt and yeah Gwyneth Paltrow. is it called seven no that's yeah no it's called seven. no it is yeah you just reminded me of that with things. <laughs> the ghosts are a metaphor for how terrible humans are. I mean, yeah. Oh, the hills have eyes was another one. The hills have eyes I never saw. I didn't want to. Because it's, it's about like these inbred. It's kind of like deliverance, but they're like inbred and they kill people. Mm -mm. No, I'm good. The ghosts the are ghosts the reason to see the film, says Terrence. Yeah. Mm, no, they're the terrifying. I ain't going to ever watch it. <laughs> you should watch it. I wonder if it holds up because I only saw it that once. And it like, which is why I'm like, I can't remember it fully. You know what I mean? But like, it stuck with me. It was yeah, I scary. feel like your list didn't have any like the popular type. That's what I tried to do. I tried. Remember I told you before we went on here, I said I tried to pick not like Freddie, Jason, you know, all those. Yeah. Halloween. I tried to pick ones that. Well, a lot of them like. Like, you know, like you said, Jason and or the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, like all those are, I'm like, those don't scare me as much. When I watch it, I don't want to watch it because they're jumping out and I don't right. like all that jump stuff. Jump scares, but, yeah. but they're like, their characters to me, I feel like are ridiculous. You know, like, all right, they're really, you know. So well, they don't I'm like they never die me. and they come back a hundred times. Yeah. Well, that's why Freddy is like actually scary because he makes sense. Yeah, he does. And coming in their dreams. <laughs> Oh, what are some of y'all's top favorites then? I want to see some list. Oh, I got to read my, my, um, am I echoing? I'm echoing no. for myself a little. Okay. Um, I've never seen the the are just, um, the mortuary collection, which I don't know if anybody's seen. It just came out. It's super free. Oh, these are your honorable mentions. Yeah. Okay. House on Haunted Hill. I don't know if you ever saw that. Um, that used to scare me again. It's about a being stuck in a house like that. That's what. And to come to find out, Tessa lives in a haunted house. Maybe that's why. <laughs> Maybe that's why. Don't you have like the the part they always paint and it comes back murder or something? Murder. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we're, we're getting down to the root of it here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, we're, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then I'm like, where was I on my list? Oh, yeah. Final Destination just freaks me out a little bit because of stuff like I don't want to drive behind a truck with um, 
logs on it now. I don't want to go. You know what I mean? Like that's get her anxiety going. That's what they are. That's exactly. <laughs> what. And then Cloverfield, and and because I really liked Cloverfield again. I don't know if that's really a scary movie. What that spot? What is it at about? That's the alien, and then you don't even. It's all like all hand shot on a camera, and a lot of people are. Oh, I can't watch that. You can't watch it. Probably like the Blair Witch. I can't watch yeah, yeah. that. Because I get and Blair Witch was the last one on my list, so thanks for saying um, that. <laughs> I get sick from those when they when it's moving around. It makes yeah. me sick. I Blair can never Witch watch it. Creeped me out, and Cloverfield creeped me out because you didn't see the alien for like a super long time. Like you barely catch little mm -hmm. glimpses of him, and I think that was like the suspense built up. I don't know. It was creepy, but you can't watch it, so you probably never saw it. What is Mother? Final Destination was good, but the other ones weren't great. I liked them just for their death, the deaths, Andrew, which I know I don't know. What Isn't Ready or Not about like they get married and then they have to like. I loved Ready or Not. Really? I, I was going to watch it, it, but I didn't. I, it is so good. Yeah. First of all, yes. Samara Weaving is incredible in that. That was actually in my list of my top 10 movies to watch on Halloween. It's scary. It's not really scary. So this is the it premise. It reminded right? me of like The Hunt. Yeah. Right. So they yeah. get married yeah. and they're a game, like she's marrying into a gaming family. They have like all these games that they're the like, head of or whatever. They are alive. And so they play a game on the night that they, and, you, and it's all by chance. Okay? okay. And they get hide and seek and she's laughing. She's like, are we really going to play hide and seek? And they're all like, oh, that's the card she pulled. It was ready. It was oh, she pulled it. There was because they would have just played like the other people in the family were like we played backgammon we played old maid we played this well she got hide and seek which is she used to run and hide and they have to this is what they believe as the family is that they have to kill her or they will be dead at sunrise because of some pact that the great 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 oh, whatever God. made with <laughs> you're never gonna watch it I don't want to give the ending away but the ending is one of my favorite endings of a movie of all time that's what I was saying. Six Sense isn't scary. Six Sense isn't really scary. No. Yeah, it's, I guess it's kind of a thriller. Yeah. Now, someone said, yeah, like paranormal. People keep trying to ask, like, want me to write because they love looks and what are people love? I guess me getting scary and always ask me to react to this scary, crazy man to react. <laughs> <laughs> but they always ask me, I have a list that the paranormals or the paranormal activity they want me to react to. I remember I did all those Hollywood or Halloween movie trailers they want me to react to. Uh, mm -hmm. The gallows I just did. I was like, this is y'all's time. This is the time. Yeah. October, I'm going to react to the scary movies. But I love it. And that's a, The Nun. We, somebody mentioned The Nun, and I've never, never seen it, but that. I've seen that in trailer, and that scared me to death. That was enough. <laughs> yeah, that was me too. The trailer was scary because it's like a jump scare, and it's also like yeah. freaky. Yeah. With yeah. the spirits, mm -mm. and you know the church because that's in the church. Those have the with the exorcism and all that. Those have the craziest. Mm -mm. I know. I don't. That stuff just creeps me out. Uh, I mean, Terry says that it's trash. So <laughs> happy Wednesday, Mama Gee. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, just spelled out. Uh -huh. uh, uh, let's that see what else. Terrible. Parent, see, I didn't really enjoy because I watched I, Paranormal Activity at the midnight showing in the theater, wow. and then and then I was freaked out. But it was I, a beach. I remember it vividly. Are you freaked out because I remember from a trailer, and this is why I never watch it because they had like showed the baby camera and the camera on the baby, right? And that's why I was like, oh no, I can't do that. It was. It felt too. It felt. I mean, it wasn't a good movie, you know, but it was a creepy, scary, jump scare. And mm, we did not see Mother. I think we already mentioned that, didn't we? I heard of Mother. I heard of it. It's, um, Canimator has a funny scene. It should scare most women. But it's, oh, geez. I don't want to know, Dan. Uh, Mother is, it's star. I got to look it up. It's got a, someone in it that's <sighs> Jennifer Lawrence. Um, and Michelle Pfeiffer's in it too, huh? Really? It's just, I, I don't. I didn't know much about it. I think I saw the trailer and um, just never watched it for whatever reason. Maybe we'll have to check it out. No, I'm not interested. I never even heard of it. And that was one Michelle Pfeiffer and Jennifer Lawrence. I feel like I would have. 
I think Jennifer Lawrence was the main one. I kind I I very vaguely remember the trailer. Oh, everybody's saying Mother. Now I want to watch Mother. Is I it scary though, or is it like a thriller? I don't know. Is it like? Listen, yay! Blair Witch was scary. I agree, Dan. I remember thinking that I had a like little person in my corner of the room when you would see the witch. Mm -mm. Scares me. No, scarier also... than the witches. <laughs> <laughs> the Witches is going to be the new Dora movie. <laughs> the Witches is going to be the new. <laughs> this is what I have to deal with, guys. <laughs> Hocus My... Pocus was number two on a list. <laughs> no. But that is actually a good Halloween movie. <laughs> yeah. I liked The Wretched a lot. Did you ever watch it, Amanda? I got no. a screener for it a while back. I can't. I feel like you wouldn't. I just want to pass up though. I don't want to watch scary movies. That's screeners. good. I'm curious what you think of it. Come back and tell me after you see it. Movie I know. Yet. I want to see Mother. Oh, he said. Terrence said it's a bad movie that didn't submit its plot. What a waste of plot. It didn't buckle down. Hmm. Kristen, who wigs? Mm-hmm. Who is she? She has a cameo. You know her from SNL and well, you mainly would know her from I would see her like her face. I probably know. Yeah, yeah, you would know her. She's in like Bridesmaids, I think. Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice is a good <laughs> I mean, route. I love those those are ones that like they should have a, a list we should have made too, like not scary movies, but still like Halloween y, you know? Right. Well, like I Hocus Pocus. I said weenie. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what else? Beetlejuice, like those hocus pocus, be the witches. I remember before Christmas. <laughs> you know that are Halloween movies, but totally not scary. But those are the it's ones I like. To watch. Look, Marshall, even our friend Marshall even said it was disturbing when he just watched it this last weekend. You the missed witches? the conversation because it was the weekend in a in our group chat. She doesn't ever come in, but before Christmas, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you can see the Wizard of Oz is like the witch on the Wizard of Oz when I was little used to scare me. <laughs> yeah, she's scary. I was her for Halloween one time. Were you? I was. Corpse Bride. That's a great movie. I love um, Corpse Bride. Coraline's another really good one. Yeah, I remember Coraline. Coraline. Coraline's a little scary for kids. Like the other mother with the button eyes and stuff. She's a little creepy. She's Sleepy Hollow that. is another one. Sleepy Hollow. Gosh, I haven't seen that movie in forever. Oh, wait. Prime has a $2 rent day? It's on $2 rental today on Prime. Is what that is? like anything is $2? What is? Well, maybe we'll have to check it out. I don't know. Did she say something above that? Beetlejuice. They watched Beetlejuice. Oh, it's Beetlejuice. I think I own that's it. That's what I said. I was, I was like, I think that's one I own. Dale! That's the best part of it. <laughs> okay, yeah. So uh the Wolf of Snow Hollow, I do want to see that. I remember Amanda reacted to the trailer. Mm -hmm. I didn't. Um I forget why, but and you guys know there's this crazy thing YouTube's doing where if you put up more than three videos in a 24 hour period, they don't give you a notification. Now is that That's new? I don't know. Or we just figured it out. <laughs> Either way, it's frustrating because I feel like I have to pick and choose stuff. You know what I mean? No, it's true. Like, because sometimes, what if they, I mean, we'd like to react to the new trailers. And if they have like a bunch that drop in a day, it's like you won't get notifications right. for all of them. You know what I found out was during DC Fandom because people didn't get one. And then they were like, wait, I didn't even know you reacted to this. I never got yeah. a notification. And then I went back and I figured it out. That's silly. Rocky Horror Picture Show is fun. I mean, that's one Halloween that everybody does, right? I, yeah, I like that movie. Do you Are like you that dress, movie? Uh huh. Are you going to dress up for on a costume for Halloween? I don't know. It's a Saturday. I don't think we're doing anything. Like, I don't think, I think we're going to go to a trunk or treat yeah. <laughs> at like one o'clock in the afternoon. They're not doing trick or treating here. Well, they have it, but it's strongly discouraged. So I don't think anybody's going to even be handing out candy. Well, so. we're, well, there are a lot of people here doing like the, the candy shoots and putting them down. Like they're setting all that kind of stuff up. But you know, I got my they're, costume. I know. I can't wait to see it. I cannot wait to see it. <laughs> Do you get all to it already? Yeah. I just, well, I totally, I was talking about it on my live today. Cause I'm going as like the video, the Among Us, the Among Guess Us what video. I downloaded this weekend. Huh? Guess what? I downloaded it this weekend. To try oh, it did out. you play it yet? No, I haven't because 
Oh, well, here's the thing. I open it up and it's like, because of hacking, we've done this and the servers might not be. And I was like, oh, I don't want to play this I game. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what is Amanda doing to me? <laughs> don't you scare me. <laughs> no, but so I was talking about it today, my costume and then my subscribers were like, play Among Us with us. But I don't know how to set it up for just like to play with certain people. Like, I know that, like, if you start a game, I can give you a code and we can play with, but. Uh, I'll have to figure it out. I haven't. You have to figure it out first because out you'll, well, like. Well, like, play. It's like 20 screens I got to read through. I said, I need to do this another time. Oh, I didn't even read that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't read directions. <laughs> You're going to be out ghost hunting on Saturday. Sorry. Ghost we hunting. <laughs> Look at Amanda's face. Why are they ghost hunting? Why would you want that? Mm -mm. We, I, they have a, a haunted house here, like a real one, like that's been on one of those TV shows. Oh, really? And uh, it's called the Limp Mansion, like, and they had all, and I went to one of those, like, I went to that house one, and never yeah. again. Do you know what? I didn't ever, I don't know that I ever told you this story. I'm going to tell you real quick. So um, before my husband and I were married, we went to Savannah, Georgia. I was in Florida. He was in North Carolina. So like mm -hmm. we met there for a weekend and we went on a ghost walk thing. Right. We'll go and, a ghost tour. and oh my God. I remember my friend was like blowing up my phone. Like, how's it going? How's it going? And I was getting frustrated. So I turned my phone off and he even watched it because it kept vibrating in my purse and I was getting annoyed. I turned it off. And I put it in my purse and then we were walking and then it started vibrating again. And I was like, and this was like 15, 20 minutes later. And I was like, this is weird. And I opened it up and there was nothing there, but it was on. And then the guy's like, and at this house, we have a ghost that likes to play with technology. Oh. And I was like, no. Oh. Well, like, we did a ghost tour. And, and, the and I was like, Whoa. yes, I we do. Did. That was but Creepy. nothing happened on that one. Nothing happened. Except I had diarrhea, crazy. remember? <laughs> and they left me. I was in the bathroom. <laughs> and they're like, well, the ghost tours. I'm like, I can't go out yet. <laughs> I had my own spiritual experience. <laughs> oh, geez, Louise. Let's change the subject. Uh, she says there's four haunted, as haunted asylums. That would creep me out, I think, more than a house. Yeah. Like, especially if they were, like, one of those, like, psychotic, right? Like, like Batman. <laughs> Dan says the sound of music. Is he at him like going on with these musicals? Was that Dan? <laughs> yes. Oh, what does Mr. Icarus have to say? All right. Yeah, I was Let's see. Since I we're talking about movies. scary movies, I thought of one that would make me paranoid. It's a color from space. I don't know that. I've never, never heard of that. Heard Especially it. Nicolas Cage. I know. I never heard uh, of that. One. I've never been to one of those kinds of hotels. N no, they use the ghost stories and excuse for. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did. I tell you this because I mean, in New Orleans, we have like there's ghost, you know, cemeteries and ghost yeah. stories here. They even had what from uh, American Horror Story. We saw that the yeah. building. So, but it was like a few years ago, we went on a cruise and I'm from New Orleans. So my, I went there a day early and spend time with family, whatever. And our friends we go on a cruise with, you know, they came and they rented a place and we went to drop them off at their hotel. And they were, their hotel was on a ghost tour. <laughs> yeah. And it was like one of the, that's, remember I told Marshall was looking for a place to stay. And that's the one I told yeah. him about. And it was because they had their kids with them. <laughs> And they were like, and they were like, you want to come in? So it was a ghost tour, and they were, and we're like, it's a ghost. Like this is you're on a ghost yeah. tour, and the kids like started. They're like, what? And they started crying, and oh, they were no. like looking at us. They're like, is there really haunted, a man? And they were like, my, you know, Greg. They're like, Greg, and yeah. Greg like, Greg just like told me, was like, yeah. And then he closed the door and drove off. <laughs> he did not. Oh my god. But there's a lot of things I do. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. And they were talking about like weird stuff happening like that night. They only stayed one night and they were talking about like shoes being like moved and or like they took a shower and like it fogged up their mirror, but like they saw war or something written on it. What? It was weird stuff. Uh-uh. 
I'm all set with that. No. Uh -uh. <laughs> Look at, so, so she lives in Australia. So she's talking about going out there and she says they've got a lot of scary stuff like hanging rock. I didn't see a picnic at hanging rock. I don't know that I heard of it. Look at, look at, uh-uh. I would not go there. Don't ever go there. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Dan, I am right there with you. And I know Amanda is. Good. Oh, I get it. Ah, oh, it's a good one. <laughs> That's true. That should have been our number one, 2020. Yeah. And well, 2016 yeah. to 2020. 2016 and 2020.